It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some midseason NBA action. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much, guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing-to-lose approach on these plays, many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, T.A. Now Golden State's starting five. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And for the Bulls, DeRozan and Williams are the forwards. Alex Caruso out there with Zach Levine. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. The one thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Caruso against Curry. Pass to Levine. Fires the three. Green with the rebound. Levine against Thompson. On the wing, Green. Golden State moving it around. Wiggins dishes to Curry. Shot clock at six. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Pass to Curry. Back to Looney. Kicks it to Wiggins. And it's good off the back rim and in. Wiggins has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Warriors. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now, here's DeRozan. This came out, we saw him pour in 42. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement found the shooter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Caruso against Curry. The rebound. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down. And maybe get the possible shot the next time down. And Thompson kicks it to Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Outside curve. Two minutes. Thompson up top. Guarded by Levine. On its way from Curry for two. Chicago grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. Yeah, I love watching that game and, in particular, their demeanor in their destruction in that game. Now, here's Curry following the miss by DeRozan. And the basket by Curry. Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry so creative as a finisher on the inside. Right hand, left hand. Score around the defense. And on the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go and get back on track. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. Bulls trail by six. Died green. Rockets the pass to Drummond. We've got 108 left in the first. Trying to get something to go. Wiseman with the rebound. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that ring. There's the drive. Jordan Poole. Highlight real stuff there from Jordan Poole.
52 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside, Green, back to Dragic. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Dragic gets the bucket. Finally, after all those plays, someone comes through for him. Yeah, the point is to score, so getting that first one, that always helps. Now, here's Poole. A 26-point game for him in the win against Utah. Well, the thing he did most was fluster the defense. I really liked how he showed no fear and constantly attacked the lane and drew contact, which in turn got him the free throws. Neil from three-point land. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Golden just a State great ball move. And there's just the goal on Dante DiVincenzo. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. 12 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Dragic. The teardrop falls in. That's an effective blow that Goran Dragic just threw up there. Totally caught the defense by surprise. Cool with it from deep three-point range. And so it's the Golden State Warriors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And we'll be right back after this. On your feet, fans, it's time for... And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And the Warriors guys, what jumps out to you in this game? Uh, Stance one. Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly. Trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Guard pair on the floor. It's Curry and Thompson. Higgins is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Green in at the five down low. Just three to shoot. Thompson dishes to Wiggins. To Rosa. Walking another chance here. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Bulls. On Friday, it'll be the Tristans coming into town. And then on Saturday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for their matchup with Cleveland, that's where you have got to bring your A game, especially when you know you're going to be fighting an uphill battle all night long. You know, Greg, you played on some pretty teams. We hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth, and it's not usually literal. But what's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of check out mentally. And, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sports. Clay Thompson really one of the more pretty jump shots in the NBA. Both kids are watching. No way to incredible efficiency. They really do set the gold standard. That free throw good from Thompson. So for the Bulls. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Javante Green. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dosumu. The Warriors also with a sub. Looney's checked in. Yeah. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. What you love about Vucevic, the consistency. Solid shooting percentages, and he's averaged double digit rebounds for the last five years. Changing in quickly, he's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you gotta look out. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Shoots over Caruso, and it's good. The back of the rim and in. Curry's got his second basket. You know, Greg, adding to that for Bucic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, First and he is just a rock in the middle. Nice work to get it inside and the one drop for the ball. Chicago Alex shooting their Carson. first free throw for this one. Taking two shots.
the free throw drops for Caruso. Moody's checked in for Clay Thompson. So Caruso nails both of them. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Curry with it. Now defended by Levine. Looney passes to Wiggins. Green in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Green. And Green gets it to go. Just Draymond's overall strength on the inside to get in there and find his way to a tough basket in the paint. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive the second time. And Kevin, little plays like that one will help them manage this lead heading into the half. How about the determination? Williams can't get it to go. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And Looney sends it back. Looney's starting to play a little bit angry right now, and that's helping this defense be more aggressive. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And that sends Draymond Green to the free throw line. It's on Zach Levine. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And they set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Catching up matches for Chicago. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Tony Bradley comes in for Patrick Williams. Whitey's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Trogic in for Alex Caruso. That's good from Green. I mean, so much glue in this guy as Dreamont focuses on making all the winning plays that he possibly can. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on James Wiseman. Bulls shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. That free throw missing. Green is checked in for the Warriors. And he ends up missing both free throws. And they're getting to the line a lot this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. And Poole gets it to go. And Poole's showing more and more signs of maturity. Hard to rattle. Time to Rosen. Ryan gets the pass to Brent. 56 seconds left in the first half. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And the shot Don't is good. DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. And Poole's vision developing right in front of us. Back to White. Outside to Rosen. Pass to Brent. To DeRozan, five on the clock, and too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Getting another opportunity here to see the powerful rejection. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Javante Green, he's checked in for DeRozan. And it's Dosumu in for Kobe White. And the Warriors also making a change. 
Dominguez come in for Moody. Green, no luck. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him when the defense is not right up on him. To the paint. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut to just nine points on the basket. From two. Two. Just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Even Genzo. And the Warriors miss again. That's and so it's the Golden State Warriors. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're playing a bruising game inside. And it's working for me. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by Corson. David. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, just trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if you can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. There. And I'm Kevin Harlan. So it's Golden State who's out on top at the half. They have a nine-point lead. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? They're running the offense beautifully this way. Working for good looks. The confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow at this point. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on the Bulls. Well, it's never. You playing this team? That's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shooting. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. Ladies and gentlemen, your And if you're just joining us in this one, the first half is in the books. One half to go. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. And it's Caruso in at the point. And it's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. First personal foul. First two goals, trail by nine. The pass to DeRozan. Levine deciding where to go with it. Kojovic trying to get open. And Levine throws it down. And no question, Levine has a talent for taking to the sky. And he'll show it off every chance he gets. Lane Thompson with the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Levine passes to DeRozan. Al Levine. He's someone who's a factor on any given the night averaging more than 22 points a game. The Warriors pull. Green's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Wiggins. That's in coming off the assist from Thompson. And now it's an 11 point Warrior lead. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Here's Levine. Trains it from nine feet away. Levine's got his second bucket. In a natural score, Levine is content to try his luck from just about anywhere on the court. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. Now here's Wiggins. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. Just four to shoot. Looney passes to Thompson. Over Levine. And they force the shot clock violation. Three team. Chicago making a switch here. Lights checked in. the floor for your Bulls. Kobe White. Bulls trail by nine. 
And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team Two shot minutes. way more than the pointers, and they found the temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. I hit those all day long. David, thank you. Curry can't get it to go. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. Yeah, there's still tons of upside to be had. Looney with the bucket. Looney, Looney not afraid to get in there and knew that opportunity was going to open up. Timeout call, the bowl. Chicago timeout call. It's time for T shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, your full youth dance team. And the Warriors were in the new five on the floor. Bulls trail by nine. Passes it to Dosunu. Outside green. Pass to Dosunu. And again, Chicago. No good. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Poole playing aggressive on the inside, just forcing the defense to come at him. The Warriors have made two of their previous the three the Warriors, Warriors in today's game. Jordan and how about as a group? 80% on the season. One of their best attributes. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Outside, green. Rockets against DiVincenzo. Back to green. Launches a three. And the Bulls with another miss. Warriors leading by 11. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Jordan Poole has that ability, that one-stride, full-speed kind of player. Nice action there. The Bulls have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Now here's Dosumu, guarded by Poole. And here is Dosumu. Nice move. Can't get the layup. It off in time and no good in the last second attempt this time and as we end the third quarter a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back the warriors on top they lead by 13 from the united center in chicago back in a moment and let's take this chance now to show you the state farm assist of the game and he sliced the be wide open with his speed. They had no chance to permit that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Heisman's out there with Wiggins. And the offensive energy of DeRozan won in that shot. He never stops working the floor looking for those opportunities. Now here's Curry. Over Krogic. A shot by Curry. No good. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Fires from the wing. 
The offensive rebound, Green, and the shot goes down. Draymond Green. Green's got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. Yeah, Draymond just eating glass that time on the inside, finding some room, carving out space. Great activity. Back to Dragic. Goes up a three. Hits the three-point bomb. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Another shot. And it's green. Missing. And Chicago shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Off the mark. Had a chance to trim it to single digits. Warriors leading by 10. Outside Curry. And it's Thompson Ray that time Thompson. on the assist by Curry. Assist from Seven points for Clay Seven Thompson. Curry. Just such a confident scorer seeing Clay get into these areas on the floor and still being effective. Got to appreciate that part of his game. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He's doing everything he can to put this game to bed. And great score there to help his team. Now here's Dragic. And there's the whistle with the legal screen. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Alex Caruso is checked in for Chicago. Kevon Looney is checked in for Golden State. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Warriors. It's Curry outside. No good. Shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. The wide open look here for DeRozan. Shot goes down. Very good possession right there. An all NBA selection over his career. DeRozan is a savvy scorer. Reads the passing angles and looks for catch and shoot opportunities. Excellent play. And just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Kept alive. Vucevic down low. Looney on him. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just 10 in the basket from Vucevic. And the instincts on the glass. Love how Vucevic tracks these misses down and being able to convert. The big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly Should takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And the Bulls call timeout here. They're trailing by 12. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Draymond Green. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Well, he needed a game like this badly. He's been struggling for a while now, but tonight he broke out of that slump in style. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Warriors. The differential in assists led to a lot of open looks and also helped to get, um, you know, more guys involved in the offense easy. And they made the defense adjust, but they just couldn't come up with an answer. And so they'll stretch their victory Good total to 19 on the season. And, and they've taken control Green of the season Green. series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Draymond Green. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him can really get a handle on him. And we witnessed DeRozan improve big time as a playmaker. His court awareness is really at an elite level. And the basket by Curry. Making every effort to put this game on ice. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Levine can't hit. A three ball. 
Off target. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. That's this crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. We you know what? Thank you. I don't care what the match is. You never expect Please a road team to come in and just lose to the kind of win they did tonight. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew.